Hey, what is up? Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Emma. And if you're not new here, then my name is still Emma. I look really pale. I need to fix that. So the deal is today, I'm going to be making some fudge cake. Chocolate fudge cake? I don't know. Anyway, to give you some justification, this is the cookbook that it's from. I got this from my Nana like four Christmases ago, maybe. And she's handwritten the recipe in here for me. So I am today going to be sharing the recipe with you guys. It's kind of like a family recipe, but then I feel like other people do like other versions of it that are very similar. So chances are you probably tried something the same or similar before. But anyway, today I'm sharing with you the, oh, I was living in the Stevens family because it's my mum's side of the family. The Paul family chocolate fudge cake recipe. I've got all the ingredients, you can't see them there right here. I haven't done a cooking video like this in a very long time, probably in like, It'd be oh, maybe like 12 months. I think I did one last Vlogmas. So here we are again. Not much has changed. To be honest, this has been like a recipe in my family for like before I was alive. And I've had this like since I was a kid. But I've never made this before myself. So today is the day and you guys all get to witness it as well. So let's go. Okay, so I have a pot here. I'm going to turn it on. It says put into a saucepan 180 grams of butter, one cup of sugar, and one beaten egg. Wooden spoon and stir this up. Oh my gosh. See, making this now, I'm realizing like how unhealthy this is. Because I've kind of just like eaten it for like my whole entire life. And so I'm like, oh yeah, cool cake, yum. But this cake, she has a lot of sugar and a lot of butter in her. I look like I'm reading like a child's book. But it says cook over slow heat until thick. So I guess that means until the butter's melted, because it's already looking pretty thick. And stir constantly or it will burn. After this is when you add the crushed biscuits. When I've seen mum make it, mum puts the biscuits in the food processor and like munches them up. But I don't like it like that because it makes the biscuit too fine. I prefer it when like the biscuit's like crunchy inside the cake. So I'm just going to get like a bag and a... Um, rolling pin and smack it. So I thought it was going to be like a really good idea to like hit it with the rolling pin thing um, in a plastic bag to munch up all the cookies but like mm, no it didn't work. Okay never mind food process is happening. Where's the lid? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is why I don't cook. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Stop turning on the wall. It's not switched on at the wall. I think that'll do. This is, you can't see it. It's all melted anyway. It's like so. And then this is my munched up biscuits. I know it's got some bigger bits in there. I like those bits in there because then it makes it nice and crunchy. Right, now I need to add that and a dessert spoon of cocoa and a few drops of vanilla and then put it into the tin. So it's, it's a pretty easy recipe, to be honest. So we're gonna add, yeah, I'll face it to the thing so you can see what I'm doing. Biscuits go in. I hope I'm actually reading the right recipe because if this makes something that's different to what I thought I was making, that's gonna be really awkward. Oh, yum. Wait, what about the cocoa? This is a dessert spoon, but we're just gonna do like, I don't know, that much? I don't know, if not, then you will find out later. Oh yeah, okay, this is starting to look a bit better. Maybe not. Okay, no, this is, this is looking good. This is looking good, guys. And then some vanilla. Stir that in. So the deal is, I'm actually home alone at the moment, so I think my brother's coming home to stay tonight. I hope he is, because I don't want to be home alone. This slice, I'm taking down to my boyfriend's family tomorrow. He doesn't know that, but like, he knows I'm coming to visit, but he doesn't know the bread cake, so. Bonus points for me. I'll probably take half of it down there and then half of it to like a family thing we got on Sunday. So today's Thursday. I don't know, will he be left on Sunday? You get the gist, that's what it looks like. So now I need to put it into the tin. So Nana has said, spread in shallow tin approximately 18 by 27 centimeters. Considering it says approximately and then gives exact figures kind of is a bit concerning. This is the tin I've got. It's like an expandable one. Goes, yeah. 18 by 27, guess who's gonna get their measuring app out on their iPhone because they don't have a ruler. Me. 24, no, 27. Okay, no, we're just gonna go with that. Okay, so I'm going to spin this around this way so when I pick it up I don't like squeeze it and like make it smaller because I've done that before. Okay, I'm just going <laughs> to... Not going to lie, I kind of feel like I'm putting the family recipe to shame at the moment. This is kind of embarrassing. 
Okay, that looks good. So the deal is, before I can ice this, it needs to go in the fridge so it can set a little bit so that you're not putting like the icing on and it all melts. So I'm gonna pop this in the fridge and then I'll come back to you after I've done the dishes and we can ice this thing. Okay, hi, I'm now back. Um, the thing is still in the fridge. I haven't actually looked at that yet, but I'm gonna start making the icing because the dishes are done. The book now goes away because there is no icing recipe in there, which is kind of useless. My parents at the moment are in Tiri Tiri Matangi Island, so I didn't know how to make icing, so I was like hoping mum made service, and I texted him like, hey mum, how do you make icing? So she sent me a recipe, and we're good to go. About a tablespoon of butter melted. I estimated a tablespoon of butter, is it? Okay, probably more two tablespoons of butter, but that's okay. Two cups of icing sugar. I don't actually know if I have two cups here, so we're just gonna look what we've got. Here is one cup of icing sugar. Okay, that's not quite a cold cup. It's a bit short, but we don't really have much left, so we're just gonna go with that for the minute. Two tablespoons of cocoa. Mm. 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 Hello? Good, how are you? Alright, thank you for calling, bye! There was this Nana checking up on me since I'm home alone. Okay, back to this. So, second tablespoon of cocoa. And and then a little bit of hot water to mix it. So, I, I pre-boiled the jug, guys. Where can I put this? It's not going to burn the bench. And on my phone because... Story time guys, I haven't actually said this yet. But I smashed my old phone screen. So the thing that happened was... I was at my boyfriend's house and I was using his phone as a torch to like help him find his Hot Wheels track under the house. And so I had my phone sitting on the couch with his jacket and I was like, oh, I'll, after using the torch, I was like, oh, I'll throw his phone back over and put it with mine. So I actually threw it and it hit my phone like at the top, like before, this, like before the screen protector starts and it cracked the screen. And I was like, well, I could just go get it fixed or I could just go get a new phone. So I just went and got a new phone because I was contemplating getting one anyway. So um, if you're looking for an iPhone 8 Plus, I will be selling one shortly on my Instagram. And the problem with my phone screen being cracked was that the crack went right through like the selfie camera. So like I couldn't take, this is going to sound so vain, but like I couldn't take photos of myself. Which is kind of difficult considering that's like my job. Okay, this needs more water. Okay, that was probably too much. Actually, that's, that's starting to look like icing. It's just like icing I don't think is supposed to be like... That. Maybe a tiny bit more hot water. Okay guys, I made perfect icing the first time. Well, that actually looks really good. I'm really proud of myself, not gonna lie. But again, I didn't realize how much icing sugar went into icing. Like, that's kind of gross. Oh, that's why it's called icing sugar, because you put it in icing. Mmm, where'd it go, Emma? I think this is looking good, so we're going to get the slice out of the fridge. Oh my gosh, it looks so yum! It looks basically how it did when it went in. But now, we're gonna add the icing. The icing's like starting to set because I've been looking around. Okay, now that definitely needed a bit more hot water. All good, it's fine. Okay, looking goodish. Mission complete. Now, I don't know where mum got these from, but she got $2 Christmas sprinkles from somewhere, which come out of Christmas time, obviously, that she uses like just on this. So, I don't know if I'm allowed to use these. But it's too late. How many sprinkles do you put on? It's kind of like fairy bread. Okay, I think that'll do the trick. Fudge cake is complete and I'm very proud of myself, not gonna lie, considering that I have like seen it before and tasted it before but never made it before and now I have made it. So here it is. I guess I'll chuck it back in the fridge and let the icing set and then cut it up and then take it down to my boyfriend's house for everyone to eat. So yeah, that is my secret family recipe for chocolate fudge cake, which is Christmas themed because it's got Christmas sprinkles on it, which costs $2, which makes it Christmas themed. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you around here, it's free. And who doesn't love free stuff? So it's just always linked down below and I'll chuck the recipe in the description box for you guys. So if you want to try this at home and try and do a better job than I did, Feel free, um, good luck. Apart from that, make some smile and I'll see you in the next video. Excuse me.
fingers. Mm -hmm. Boyfriends gonna make so much fun of me for this. Yeah, this expired like nearly like two years ago, but it should be fine. 